In this presentation we will look at how to use a bitmap as a background in Surf CE. There are different ways uh, to do this, but we will look at a, uh, a very popular way, which is to use uh, a Google Earth image as a, uh, as a background. Now one of, the, uh, one of the most important things to be aware of is uh, to have a georeference file. That means that the, uh, the bitmap should have a coordinate system. So what we will do is we will use uh, export, one of the tools of export, uh, to make uh, a georeference uh, bitmap, and then we will use that bitmap in Surf CE. So our first step will be to go to uh, Carlson Export. Carlson Export uh, comes free with every uh, Surf CE uh, license. We'll go to one of the tools namely the uh, image export. Um, the first question is to uh, create a new uh, image database and uh, we will do that. We will say uh, my image set it's, uh, that's done. Um, and then we will actually open our image file. And what I've done, I've just um, created a screen, a screen copy from a, a Google Earth image. So there we go, we open it. Now before we view it, we immediately get the warning that the file is not georeference. So there should, there should be an associated uh, georeference file but this file is not found, so that is what this warning is about. Anyway, we'll just, uh, we'll just ignore this and uh, this, is the, uh, this is my bitmap. Now if you look at the, uh, at the coordinates over here, you will see that these are arbitrary coordinates because if I move to the, uh, to the top left, I will get uh, zero, 0, so th these are just really arbitrary coordinates. Uh, so the file is uh, is not uh, georeferenced. So to georeference the file I need two control points. So these are known points uh, in the field uh, because I've surveyed them before or uh, what, I could what I could also do is to use um, the coordinates from Google Earth. Google Earth will display latitude and longitude and I can convert that into grid coordinates um, because here I really need uh, grid coordinates. I need grid coordinates from a uh, coordinate system uh, which is the same coordinate system that I'm going to use in, uh, in Surf CE uh, obviously. So what I'll do is uh, I'll just zoom in a little bit and uh, we'll go to control point number one we'll go to uh, tools and uh, georeference by user points. Now you see over here that the software says select the first reference point which is, which is my control point over here. So I'll just click that and now I have to enter my uh, uh, grid coordinates. So I have my grid coordinates available here and my y coordinate for 89192 okay then the software asks for the the second uh, reference point so the reference point is up here so we will just click this point now I'm entering the uh, coordinates on the centimeter level which is uh, maybe a little bit overdone because my uh, my resolution is probably not so that I can claim that I'm on the centimeter level but let's uh, let's follow this through okay 
And now I will get my um, my world uh, coordinates. My this is my world file uh, editor. So uh, this this looks okay. So I'll say okay, and I want to save this world file. That will help me with my uh, with my geo reference. Um, I can always open and and, and change this uh, if I want to. Anyway, um, now you will see that uh, I have these uh, uh, arbitrary coordinates, but also my uh, my grid coordinates. So my grid coordinates are also uh, available. Then the next step is to uh, to add the image to the set that I have uh, created. I'm going to use it for uh, for Surf CE, and I will say process this uh, this image. Okay, that is done. I'll exit from here, and then I will move to uh, to Surf CE. Uh, let's just create a new job like this. Okay. Now I'm using uh, this coordinate system, coordinate system in the Netherlands, uh, and of course that's the same coordinate system that I use to georeference uh, the bitmap. So I'll go to the map view. In the map view, I will use tools place world image, use image database, so the image database is the database that I created uh, in export, and I will select the image database file, so the image database file is a file with the extension uh, IDB, so let's just look up this file, which should be somewhere up here. So this is the file that I uh, created before. We'll green check out of here. And there we are. That is my uh, that is my background. Um, so what we can do in this case with the uh, using the the GPS simulation I can go to uh, to survey uh, and I can actually do my measurements on the uh, on the bitmap, which is now uh, geo-referenced. So you can just uh, move along here. Just zoom in a little bit, and there we are can see by the uh, by the coordinates that I now really have grid coordinates that I really have a uh, a georeference file okay that is the uh, that is the end of this uh, presentation thank you very much